hello guys i proudly welcome you to this quick tech microsoft access database tutorial brought to you by Akos data Techs. my name is Akos Myla. i'm your instructor guys this is our first video in the year 2025 i welcome you proudly and i'm very much appreciative unto you all for the tremendous support that you have rallied behind this channel which has really brought about the growth that we are experiencing all right in this video guys i'm going to share with you one of the useful ways that we can make use of ChatGPT, a modern generative ai tool in microsoft access development with one accord can we thank the other brains or the guys behind the innovation of generative ai uh, in this contemporary world what is artificial intelligence or ai well if you ask me i would say that ai is a technology that is primarily purposed in making computers behave smarter like human beings in several spheres of the world the productive that i mean the productivity and the efficiency that the incorporation of ai tools with the like of gemini and chat gpt the productivity that it actually brings is very much amazing and so remarkable all right so as far as microsoft access is concerned guys we can make use of ChatGPT in several ways ranging from design of database schema generating of fictitious data and then um, i mean answering or troubleshooting problems even in microsoft asset but then among all i'm on all generating vba programs or vba algorithm is one of the most useful uh, ways that ChatGPT can help us in our Microsoft Access development. So, uh, VBA has been put in Microsoft Access, as we all know. Microsoft put it over there to help us be able to write programs to extend the functionalities of our database systems. In this video, I'm going to share with you first how I use ChatGPT to obtain a backup algorithm which works like magic. So I will be sharing with you how to go about in also backing up your database using a VBA algorithm from ChatGPT. It is very important, I mean, to always back up your access database or even when deploying a database system to end users, you need to consider. Uh, I mean, the practice of backing up your database is very important that you cannot actually what afford to take out. What is backup? Backup is creating a copy of your database externally for safekeeping. So the key or the major motive behind backing up our database is that if there is a crash or something happens inconveniently we lose our database, we can actually have it what recovered. All right, enough of the introduction, guys. If you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly go ahead to hit the subscribe button, turn on the little bell notification icon, and join us right in our lessons. All right, so for example, um, I have this database that I created for a client, and then uh, we have I have a button over here with the uh, the backup code that I got from ChatGPT. As I said earlier, I want to when I click backup, it asks me that hey, do you want to create a backup of data, this database at this time? Uh, well, if I click no, it tells me that backup operation cancelled. All right now if we click yes now backup becomes created successfully and it is stored right in the folder where the database sits okay so let us get into the folder where the database is setting so for instance when i come in here um let's go to desktop crystal database okay so you can see that the backup file has now been created over here now what are the objects that are being backed up is it backing up only tables queries forms or but yes this backup model backs up all the entire database but then alongside um, we are starting with this later on we'll also look at how to backup specific objects in your database some in, in certain situations to become or some circumstances special circumstances it will become very useful to only back up your database tables all right so guys let us start it all from scratch and walk i'm going to walk you through how to just get out there and question or prompt ChatGPT to give you your backup uh, i mean program to be used in microsoft assets all right so let me right click here i will close this database all right so um before we come to ChatGPT, now i have my new folder and inside this new folder uh, i have this database out here of oh, uh, let me delete this now i'll open employee database 2 which is a little database that a tutorial has been recorded on 
uh, in our channel so now here what we are going to do first is that we go to create we create a blank form we create a blank form here so in this blank form i'll go to design view the contextual menu let us add a button so i add a button here now click cancel and i will do um so let's call this let's uh, the inscription or the label should be backup database now great backup database now so we go to formats now let us increase this one to 20 and um let's uh, quick styles i will change the style to this right click here go to save now we'll say frm backup all right so frm backup is the name of the form let's uh, me ensure proper form naming let me remove this guy okay so now when i click this it has not performed anything so we are going right into chat gpt to get the code to be uh, attached to the on click event of this button so here we go now here i will say that give me a useful simple you just remove simple give me a useful vba program to back up my ms access database and save in the same folder but first prompt me whether to continue the backup or not all right so now we hit uh, we will come back later on to customize or to obtain a more customized version of this uh, program but for now let's take to um, this simpler one okay so here we have our ai or chat gpt actually writing our code for us here okay so i will go ahead to copy you can copy over here but then i don't want the sub backup database to be a copied as well or the start sub and then the end sub to be copied so what i will do is i will just copy the whole thing from here up to this point okay so once i have it copied now I'll go back to my database so here i'll right click on my button build event i'll select code builder okay so right here in code builder i'll paste my code all right so before we execute the code uh, let's go through um, some couple of lines to understand how the code is actually working so here we have prompt the user to confirm backup so this is a variable declared that we have declared to store the response of the message box if the response is no then just tells us that this, the code just tells us the backup has been cancelled now we store additional additional variables so we store additional variables also out here this one store the path the database name then the backup is being performed at the end we issue a message telling the user the backup is actually successful all right guys so um let us remove we only need to get one end sub here all right good so now we are good to go i'll close this guy and we open our form okay so when i back up the database when i click back up do you want to back up the database no operation has been cancelled back up the database if i click yes now it tells me that backup has been completed successfully so let us get right into the folder to see if the backup is indeed created okay guys so as you can see our backup file has been created right here for us let us open it to see so i'll go ahead to open it great so guys now as you can see here we have our backup all the objects i mean have been backed up or have been stored as a backup for us here okay so now what are what are some of the ways that we can actually customize this backup model so one of the things that i usually prefer to do is that we are going we would like the backup um the name of the backup file to also have i mean the date and the time that it was actually backed up. so i will say that hey so hey add to the backup file name backup file name add to the backup file name date and time it was created okay so let us see the improved version of the code all right so you wait some couple of minutes to uh, to have it generated for you okay guys so now i'll go ahead to copy this great now go ahead to copy this 
and then we get back to our database design view right click in here so i'll go ahead to uh, remove everything that we have right here then i'll paste it again okay so now as you can see when it comes to the database file name it is also concatenating the date and the time i mean for us or just adding the date and the time so we go to see database backup yes backup has been stored and as you can see the employee database backup the name is employee database backup 2025 the date and the time comes right here for us okay so let's get into the folder to see so guys as you can see this is a backup that we just created that is the backup that we just created here okay another thing or another area that we can actually improve or customize this backup is um, sometimes it becomes oh, ideally it will be very helpful to store your backup in a OneDrive folder in a OneDrive folder why do I recommend this to I mean developers so, so when you adopt the practice of saving your database in a OneDrive folder you actually save yourself I mean from any unforeseen circumstance which might even what cause your computer to crash or something like that in that in that case even when your hard drive becomes affected to the sense that your database is lost or including the backup you have it saved externally in what I mean in your OneDrive folder or synchronized in OneDrive folder so in that case you can even use a different PC to probably assess it that is a practice I recommend to you make sure you actually want to go by that all right guys so how do we then do that so in that case the first thing we need to do uh, for instance I am going to store I'm going to create a folder here so um, this document or folders in documents are being packed up onto OneDrive as you can see so I will create another folder here uh, I'll go to new folder I'll say that's what uh, database backup okay database backup so I will open database backup then I'll go to show more option properties so right in here I will copy the file directory here okay so now i'll go back to ms assess and i'll tell you that now save also the backup to this far part all right so here it tells us that it is giving us an updated or a more updated version of the code to that to do this operation for us so patient as it generates all right so as we are waiting for the code to be generated i'm still reminding you if you have not subscribed kindly hit the subscribe button so that particularly this series of uh, the this series that we have started with to teach or to share with you how ai or ChatGPT can be used in your microsoft as a development uh, to boost your efficiency you will not miss any of our videos in that all right so i'll go ahead to copy this and then um uh, once I have it here, I'll go to design view again Then now uh, I will remove everything that we have right here. Then I will paste guide Okay, so now you can see that the backup is being stored in uh, a secondary file part as well for us here So it's, it stores it first in the same folder then it also creates another copy in OneDrive for us All right, so guys, let us see now when i click backup yes so backup has been completed so first it is saved in the original folder then it is also saved in the onedrive folder so let us get in there to see if indeed it is being stored in the onedrive onedrive folder so when i go to documents then i go to database backup okay so so here we are uh let me refresh okay so it has rather stored it over here for us it has rather stored it over here for us but here too it is safe because it's still being backed up but we want it to be right in this folder okay so what we need to do let us copy the name of this folder we go to rename okay rename so let me delete this okay so now we go to our code again okay so here it tells you that OneDrive documents then we also need to add we paste what this guy here then we add i um, mean a backward slash okay so this time around 
we expect the backup to be stored in the exact folder for us so backup database now yes okay now so now once we go into our backup folder documents now backup okay so guys now you can see that your database has been stored in that database backup folder which is being synchronized to one drive so here you have your database is actually in safe one because now if something happens your database is still being backed up also into or you can have a copy of your database in one drive this is very much useful okay another thing that you can also do um, is that you can also choose to eat up only backup tables only backup what tables so we are going to what, create another what backup so we are going to create another backup but then that backup algorithm or program should only backup what tables for us so now let me add that here so i will add that here i will say click to backup only tables only tables and queries only tables and queries okay so now here I'll go let us go right into the chat GPT again I will say that good now give us another give us give another version of the program to back up only tables and queries now give another version of the program to back up so here ChatGPT is giving us another version of the code to back up only the tables and then the queries. Okay, so let's see. So we go right here. We copy everything here. Now right click, build events, code builder. And now we paste it right here. Okay, we paste it right here. This seems to be an elongated version of the one that we had but then it is still going to perform your operation for you so we save it okay now form view yes i want to back up okay so the backup of tables and queries completed successfully so guys as you can see this works like magic ChatGPT is very efficient when writing vba models as you can see in this circumstance so now let it okay and get right in here documents database backup okay so uh, here we have one for I think that is not what we created so we have uh, okay we have it stored over here again so we have employee database so when we go ahead to open this database so let's see so you can see this gives us only the tables a backup file containing only the tables and then the query this is super efficient all right but then you could see that over here to uh whilst it was supposed to have been saving database backup it saved it i um, mean in the in the document or in my document so to address that problem you just go to design view again right click here properties sorry sorry guys you go to build events now here you make sure that you type in uh you you type in um the name of this folder so let me copy it again rename i will go ahead to copy that and uh, now i'll come back to my algorithm and then i uh, will say here add this for me okay so now this backup secondary path ensures that the database will be stored in the exact onedrive location if you have loved this video kindly give me a thumbs up and then also do not hesitate to share this video also across board all right guys so this is the first video in a series of what a charge apt or ai tools in microsoft asset development there will be other videos i mean there will be other videos unveiling some other useful techniques i mean um, when it comes to using charge it in your city but database development if you have any comment do not hesitate to probably send me an email or you can go ahead to put it right in the comment box thank you so much enjoy the next videos bye bye